short video, I'm going to show one method of injecting Staterade into a hub motor. So Staterade is a novel ferromagnetic fluid that greatly improves the heat dissipating capability of direct drive motors by directly coupling the heat generated in the core of the motor to the outside shell of the motor so that it can get dissipated to ambient air. Now in motors from Grin Tech, we generally had all of our manufacturers pre-seal the side covers and include a hole through one of the disc rotor holes so that you can inject the stator aid directly into the disc hole and no additional modification to the motor are necessary. If you have a third party motor, it's not likely to be drilled out in that manner. So there's two ways of putting stator aid inside a third party hub motor. One is to open up the hub motor, remove one of the side covers and then squirt it straight in the air gap. That's a fair bit of work and it's not usually necessary. There's a shortcut method that's a little bit risky but generally speaking a lot easier to do and that's to drill a hole in your side cover plate without disassembling the motor and use that as an injection port. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I've got with me a Crystalite motor. This is from before we had Crystalite pre-make their motors to be stator aid compatible. And uh, if you look closely, you can't see from the camera, but none of these disc holes go all the way through. So what we want to do is drill a hole into the side plate in a location that's not likely to damage any of the internal wiring. So in a hub motor, all the active wiring is usually right around the perimeter and there's very little going on closer to the core of the motor. So that's roughly where we're going to drill this hole. Now, the stator egg comes with a syringe that has a lure lock tip on it and has a very small injection nozzle, so you don't need to drill a very large hole for this. I've got roughly a 1 8 inch drill bit in the drill right now. Um, you'll notice that I've also put a little stop on the drill bit, so I have just a little uh, piece of metal held on with tape there so that I don't accidentally go right into the motor and potentially gouge part of the support structure inside there. So the goal for drilling this out is to not allow chips from the drilling operation to wind up in the motor because those could cause a little bit of nuisance inside, maybe make some scraping sounds. Um, and in order to do that, you want to drill with the drill upside down so that the gravity will pull the chips outwards. So I'll start off by just pre-marking the location of this hole. Again, it's not super critical. You just want to make sure you're not going to go into the winding. So I'll just guesstimate right here and get a hole going. And now you saw as I was drilling it, the chips were flying out. To ensure that they stay out, I'm going to hold the motor like this while I continue to drill. And I'm going to keep drilling until the drill bit hits the stop point. So the chips are all coming out, coming out, coming out. Almost through, and I'm through. So right there, I've now got a hole going right to the inside of the motor, but all the accumulated chips are on the table here rather than inside the hub, and I have a point to inject the stator aid. So the stator aid, as I mentioned, comes in a syringe with a lure lock tip on it. So if we take this out of the package, uh, there's a cap on the end of the syringe that's shipped, and then the, lure, the uh, syringe tip is inside a separate little baggie. So we remove the cap. Put on the syringe tip needle, and now I'm able to squirt this directly in here. So the syringe is graduated. It's a 10 millimeter, 10 milliliter syringe, and typically for a motor of this size, you want about six milliliters inside the stator in order to have effective thermal coupling, but without uh, causing additional motor drag. Um, so I can simply put this into the hole, and then as I'm squirting it, I'm keeping an eye on the graduations. There goes one milliliter, two milliliters, three milliliters, four, five, and right there, I'm at six. And boom, I've injected stator in the motor. Now if I went ahead and put this on a bike and used it, what I would find is stator aid leaking out of little gaps in the side cover. And there's no guarantee when you get a motor that the side cover plates are sealed. Some manufacturers do a good job of that, but many others don't pay too much attention to it. So as a safety precaution, I would always recommend putting a bead of silicone all around the gap on both side cover plates. So here's just any you know, bathroom grade uh, sealant silicone will do the job. And then just lay a bead around the gap. And you do this all around both sides. Use your finger to sort of smooth it out. And that will seal any holes that are present there so that your hub motor won't leak stator aid in use. So now I've injected stator in the motor. I've completely sealed both side covers so none of it will leak. There's one last step, which is that this little hole that I put on the side, you may want to cover that with a piece of tape or put in a little set screw or do something to seal that hole so it doesn't become a point of water ingress. Um, and once you've got that little hole covered up, uh, then you have a motor that's able to do 50% more torque without overheating um, and does a much better job of running cool at high loads and high power levels.
that's all there is to it.